Hello everybody, um, Toby here again with 216 <clears throat> Auto Restoration and a 2023 Can-Am Maverick Sport Max 1000 R ERP. <clears throat> I've done a couple videos. I put a roof on this and a windshield, a rear window and mirrors on it. I'm actually taking it out for a couple rides. I'm really Happy with the way it rides. Very nice machine, very comfortable, plenty of power. Uh, but today what I'm gonna talk about is uh, I ordered some bags for the doors, uh, interior bags. I had them on my last side-by-side. -side. These ones are right from Can-Am that are supposed to go right in that area. The pad on it and whatnot. Um, actually, they showed up today. I got done working on the 72 Chevy truck, so I figured I would go ahead and put those on. I want to show you right now is I got the box here. I was just opening it up and I thought, oh, you know what? I should do a video on this. I haven't seen anything out there about how to do it. So anyways, here's the box came in from Rocky Mountain ATV. Again, excellent. Excellent place. I ordered these on Monday. Today is Wednesday. They showed up in two days. Uh, it says do not cut, but they put a cardboard thing over it. So, like I did, I took a knife and just very carefully cut it along here and put a little scar in it and just pulled it apart. <coughs> Didn't want to damage my brand new bags. And here we are. Um, uh, same as the same as the roof. Here's your instructions, um, which there are none. It says uh, for instructions, go to instructionsbrp.com. Had to do that with the roof that I installed. Um, see, their instructions on the roof were uh, not very, not very easy to follow. <clears throat> Here. And um, I'd say they're bags, but boy, they sure feel like um very solid. I mean, looks like it's uh, molded, <clears throat> molded plastic or something. Not quite like plastic, but yeah. Pretty tight zipper. Cover over the zipper. Little separator in the middle here. Also a another outside one here. Outside storage right there. Maybe slip you know, something in there. Pistol or something. Spray would all put in there. Oh, little pad there for your knee. Actually very nice and for the price, yeah, they better be. These are very expensive. Very expensive. That's all that's in this one. information on there. Same exact thing. Seem to be pretty sturdy zippers. <clears throat> That's nice. Traveling on the road. Dusty roads. Zippers. Take a lot of dust. Looks like I got a bag of screws and a bag of washers. And I'm sticker. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the instructions tell us. It says go to instructionsbrp.com. Part number SKU. I don't have that. It says 
product name or keywords. Let me bring this over here so you can see. Hopefully you can see that there. Storage bag, storage bag with padding, <clears throat> must be the one. Storage here with padding. Oh, a bunch of cautions, oh geez. Oh, there's the bags right there. Items, quantity, left bag, right bag, I got one each, looks like. Some screws and some washers, 12 screws, 12 washers. It says instruction is the procedure described in this instruction sheet shows the insulation on the left-hand side door. Use the same procedure for the right-hand side door. Hard insulation, locate the pre-drilled hole and five hole center dimples. Drill an eighth inch pilot hole into non-drilled holes. Carefully drill the plastic inside door wall only. Do not reach the plastic outside door wall. As you can see, do not drill all the way through the door. You're gonna have a hole on the outside of your door. Uh, shows number one, a pre-drilled hole. Two, 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 two. Where there should be dimples. And that's where you're supposed to drill. It says pre-drilled hole. Hole center dimples is two. Locate the rearmost bag eyelet. It must be installed first because of its location behind the net. Using the torque screws and washer, screw the bag into the pre-drilled hole. Hand tighten only to allow eyelet alignment. Screw. Torques and the washers into the front upper bag eyelet and door pre-drilled hole. Hand tighten only repeat for remaining eyelets <clears throat> and tighten to torque specifications. Now let's let's go take a look at this and see what we got. Alright. Grab my screws and did say. Pre-drill, <clears throat> eighth inch pilot holes. All right, so got some drill bits right here. Here. Eighth inch right there. It's eighth inch. Set this camera up over here. Get some light down in here, hopefully. You can see this. And I did look at this instructions before I started doing this, so I have a little bit of an idea <clears throat> how to do this. So I didn't look like a total fool. I got my drill. Eighth inch bit. It says to look for the dimples. So, here's my 
pre-drilled hole, if you can see that right there. I just, these are the dimples here. Kind of hard to see, but. Size them up, make sure that's where everything looks like they go. There's two dimples down here, and there's two holes here. That looks about right. Pre drilled hole here. That's going to fit there good. And some dimples here. Hole here, two dimples here, hole here. Put this out of the way so you can see that hole. It looks like uh, KM really did a good job on this. It's showing these dimples. I don't know if you can see these. Let me take this camera off the stand here so I can get up close. So it's saying there's dimples. So here's here's the pre-drilled hole. And a dimple here. Where's my finger? Right there. A little tiny dimple there. A little tiny dimple there. Here, let's see. Right there, right there, and one right there. So it says just to pre drill those holes where the dimples are, not to go through the wall. So you can see this is pretty thick right through here. Uh, down here, you might have a get pretty close <clears throat> so be careful when you're drilling through that's for sure I don't want to go put a <clears throat> hole right through this outside of your door that would not be good So anyways, <clears throat> I found my holes and they all look like they line up really good. This one here. just to hold my drill back. And this is the one I was thinking you could maybe hit your door. The rest of them I think you're probably okay. Some screws, some screws right here. Take 
six, six screws, <clears throat> six washers. Zip, oh, I got them. This is gonna seem like a really, really heavy duty bag. And the bad thing about it is, yeah, I wanna take them off. have to unscrew all this stuff rather than just unclipping something like on some of the bags I've seen pro armor ones I had before you just snapped on but I did have to install them first too then put all my screws here together screws and washers Dropping these damn things, darn things. Already grabbed the torques here. All right, so let's do what they say. It says to put the rear most because of the netting. So you see <clears throat> down in the bottom corner of this. Behind the net, there's a hole right, right there. Can't really see it because, but it's right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my screw and just put it through that hole right now. Make it a little easier. Get my torques on it. This is the going to pre-drill hole, not to this one here. And hang tight. Okay, so that one's good enough. Just a little bit snug. Get them started. That came out perfect right where, well, <clears throat> right where the dimples are. doing these by hand because I don't want to strip anything out. So on the bottom two, as you can see them there, let's see if we can go any further down. Get 
down here. There's one here. And one right there. lined up like perfectly. Oh, got all six of them in. One, two, three, four, five, six. here in the corner might be the toughest one to get to. Just going to snug them all up. I'm going to leave a little tweak there. If these things ever come loose, we'll have a little bit of Plastic left there to grab a hold of. The wash is not moving, so I know that's pretty tight. Until the washer doesn't move. There we go. Good zipper. Pretty nice. Nice little storage bag. Seems like it'll hold a little bit more than you think, probably, because it pop out, pop out. M storage bag passenger side let's do the driver's side now so just go ahead and do a complete thing on them and move my camera over to the other side we got the chair Here, I'm showing on the others like 
If you look on the back, you can see all the holes that are pre-drilled into this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a pre-drilled hole on the door right here. See that? And the dimples again. Dimples are even hard for me to see even right here this close. But Kenan did a good job by providing those for you. So here's the pre-drilled one right here. There's the dimple there. There's one right there. And there's one right there. One right there. Right down at the bottom. And then one right there. Said so they're calling them dimples, but almost like somebody you you just put a little drill mark there, which is awesome. Very nice of them to do that for you, for me, for us as a <clears throat> consumer, buying Can-Am materials. This must be light reflecting off of there, so. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to get these. Screws and washers ready. Okay, I'll drop another one, like usual. So we'll take, it says, the lowermost hole it's right there in the very bottom corner of the so I just want to line this up and see how these dimples come out Yeah, it looks like these things line up very good. Go ahead and pre-drill these, or drill these, I should say pre-drill. Down in the bottom, see that? Right here.
Okay. Let's see. Back up here again. Lower most rear part <clears throat> into the pre drilled hole right there. So, right here in the bottom. put my screw through there like that give myself a little head start So <clears throat> got that pretty snug, not too tight, but I can look right up here. The hole is right exactly where the hole in the bag is. Already started. Next one's under here. Let's see, I'm blocking my own light. Right there, you see that hole there. Hole in the bag, and the, the hole right there where I just drilled. Put a screw on here first and then I'll start over here. And let's see, yep, that one's lined up perfectly too, right there. I can see it myself, but the hole I drilled is right there. These came out awesome. The nice part about it was probably reading your instructions. So I'm going to tighten this one up in the corner here, get it tight, and move on to the rest of them.
good. Oops. Let's go around and tighten the rest of these up. So I'll just get them to where the washer doesn't move very easily. Installed on the 2023 Can-Am Maverick Sport Max 1000. I might actually take that off. Anyways, everybody, um, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Toby here with the. 216 auto restoration. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, take care.